Hey, what's up guys, it's Skillful here and welcome back to another video. Now, today is going to be a channel update video. Before we get into this, it's all good news, so don't worry about it. I'm not going anywhere, I'm still going to be regularly uploading. Whether you want me to upload more or whether you just don't want me to upload at all. <laughs> in this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about my content and the good things that have been happening. The reason why I'm making a separate video to this is simply because I don't want to spend like the first two, three minutes of my next video blabbering on about this stuff. I prefer to just spend like the first 45 seconds of the video talking about, you know, what we're going to be doing and then just getting straight into the gameplay. Unlike in some of my recent videos, I've kind of just been talking and talking and talking. It's been like two or three minutes before the video actually begins and I feel like a lot of people can lose interest. I myself, I'm one of those people. So I'm going to be spending this video just talking about all the new things that are going to be happening. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off at number one are the thumbnails. For the past few weeks, my thumbnails have kind of been a bit dull and boring and just they're not really out there, not very interesting to click on. Like in my past two videos and this video included, the thumbnails have been a lot more out there. And I've tried to make them a lot more interesting and kind of fucking you in to fucking click on it. I can't really describe it with words besides saying just making it more interesting and making more people want to click on it. I'm going to be carrying on this style, just trying to make them very out there and trying to make them very interesting so other people will want to click on them. Moving on to number two is video quality slash editing software because they both tie into each other. So I used to use a software called Movie Studio 13. This was essentially around before the whole Sony Vegas and stuff like that. And I used to think the quality of my videos were actually really good because whenever I check videos and that and just watch through them again i'd usually watch them on my phone and obviously on a phone it's a lot smaller it's not enlarged or anything like that you know you do you don't really see much difference between the quality of the videos however i've started checking videos and watching through them on my computer now instead of just my phone and i have realized how bad the quality of my editing software actually renders them it feels just very weird and just horrible to look at like in my recent video you have been able to see that the quality is much better when it comes to the gameplay that's because i'm using a different editing software now i'm using adobe premiere pro i wouldn't necessarily say it's difficult i'd just say it's a lot more different from movie studio however the, the rendering quality on premiere pro is absolutely mwah, sublime it's so amazing i love it you know the game actually looks like how it's meant to fucking look now instead of like pixelated and horrible so yeah my new video is going to start looking a lot more crisp soon and hopefully a lot more people are going to be more interested in watching my videos now moving on to number three the gameplay so i've been doing youtube for almost three years now and throughout my whole time of making youtube videos i have been using the elgato hd 30 and over time we have seen so many more elgato capture cards come out so many more better ones and i just haven't actually upgraded so you may see in pretty much all of my gaming videos on my channel that it's recorded in 30 FPS. Unlike now, I have finally upgraded to an Elgato HD 60. So now you're going to be able to watch the gameplay in 60 FPS just like the gameplay you are watching right now. This is all recorded in 60 FPS. Please go back to my recent videos and watch through them. Come back to this video and please tell me if you can see a difference within the frame rate. Because I've looked at some of my recent videos and then the recording that you guys are seeing now and I can see a massive difference within the frame rate. It's so much more smoother. I think the video quality of the gameplay is actually a lot better as well. All of this just makes me so excited to make more videos for you guys. It's going to look so good, man. Like, oh my God. Now, obviously, moving on to the webcam, it's going to be staying the same. I'm not going to be upgrading that to like a proper high definition, massive fucking camera that a lot of professional YouTubers have because that shit does cost a lot of money and that's the kind of money that I just don't have right now. Obviously, as soon as I can afford a camera like that, I am 100% going to be buying one. For now, I'm going to be keeping the Logitech Brio, which is what I'm using. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. That's pretty much all I've wanted to discuss. I know it's a bit of a short video, but I feel like it's quite important. So I'm not spending like minutes upon minutes in my next video just blabbering on about this shit. I'm simply making this video of it so I'm not taking up too much time in my next videos. But that's why I thought I'd make a separate video just talking about all of this stuff. Then that means I can also talk more in depth about it as well. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh,